Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, Ekham Family. My name is Mira Ann, and today I'm going to bake blueberry cobbler. We picked some blueberries in our blueberry plants outside, and I'm thinking today I'm going to make blueberry cobbler. So let's start, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Okay, let's start. First, you need a pot. And then the recipe calls for 8 cups of blueberries, fresh. I use fresh. And then 2 third cup of sugar. And then 5 tablespoons of uh, cornstarch. So let's, let's uh, put everything here in this pot. Okay, in this pot I have here... Uh, 8 cups of fresh blueberries, 5 tablespoons of cornstarch, 2 third cup of sugar, and I add cinnamon, uh, a teaspoon of cinnamon. And by the way, I just want to let you know that I doubled the recipe. So I have here actually 16 cups of fresh blueberries. And now I'm just going I'm just going to mix this a little bit and I'm not going to add any water in this pot because when I turn on the uh, burner here and heat up these berries the berries is going to produce its own juice so I'm not going to add any more liquid and now I'm going to turn on the burner into medium just medium and then I'm going to wait this until it thickens. Well, I'm doing it this way, pre-cooked the blueberries because I noticed I made a blueberry cobbler before and I followed the recipe. Uh, the recipe was at uh, foodnetwork.com by a blueberry cobbler by Ree Drummond. I think she is the pioneer woman. And I followed, exact, I followed exactly the recipe and uh, I was disappointed because my cobbler was runny. I don't like runny cobbler. So uh, it came into my mind that maybe I will prick up the, I can prick up the blueberries so that in that way I know my cobbler is not going to be runny because uh, I can see that I can control the consistency of the cobbler so let's see what will happen and by the way I just want to let you know guys that this cobbler is not sweet so if you like sweet I would say instead of two third cup you make it into a cup of sugar if you want it sweet. but this one I just use two third cup of sugar uh, this is the blueberries looks like now I just put in the pot, uh, the burner was just on for maybe just a couple of minutes, just enough that uh, cornstarch and the, the cornstarch and the sugar to melt and mix together. And the blueberries are still not yet burst, they're still whole piece, pieces. So I think this is what I want for now. In this bowl, I have here two and a half cups of flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, and one and a half sticks of butter. I use the salted butter so I don't have to add more salt in it. And then you just have to use this pastry cutter and cut the butter into the flour. So let's do it. Uh, the butter now is all uh, and the flour is all together so I think this is it it's perfect so if you use this pastry cutter it's make, it makes it quicker and easy for you rather than using your fingers like this but of course you can use your fingers and now we're going to make the liquid mixture now mixing the egg and the whipping cream no, this is the liquid mixture, one egg, three-fourth cup of 
uh, milk or cream. We have cream, so we use the cream. And then you pour it here, Lizzie. Pour it in the flour and butter mixture. I know how to All pour. All of them. So, uh, just like pour inside the bowl. Just go inside the bowl so you know that you're not gonna get any outside the bowl. Ma, can I mix? Yes, go ahead. Slowly. Can you bring closer to me? Oh, our liquid mixture. Yeah. Oh, careful, please. So less mess. Trying to. And now here's the, our dough. Our biscuit dough. So good. And we're going to put this on top of the blueberries. Oh, that is too hot. So we just do like this. We did not uh, put sugar in the dough. Later, we just have to sprinkle sugar on top of the dough. Yeah. Now, I, I'm done putting all the toppings already on top of the berries. Now, I'm going to put a few cubes of butter on top of it. Just a couple of cubes, maybe a half of your stick, and then after that, you're going to sprinkle this with sugar. I want to do it. I want to do, do it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me do just the side, just the side, and then you do the middle. Okay, here we go. And guys, I made slime today, and it's probably going to be uploaded now, probably, it already has been uploaded, so I wanted my mom to do it like, straight away, so yeah, cause like, I want to do like the original puffy slime, cause I like puffy, cause like it feels so satisfying. Now it's ready to put in the oven. And I'm going to put the timer so that I will not forget that I am baking there in the oven. 20 minutes. Alright, see you after 20 minutes. So I already baked this for, I said earlier 20 minutes, but I ended up baking this for 25 minutes. So this is how it looks like. Now we have to bake this again. Uh, 25 minutes without the foil, without cover on it. I'm hiding in the cooler though. Mm. So let's put this back in the oven for another 25 minutes. Now it's been 25 minutes, so let's pull out the berries from the oven. It is very hot and still bubbly. Look at that. Bubbles. So this is how it looks like after 25 minutes. And then I'm going to let that set for 30 minutes or else 
if you eat this right away, you get burned. So I'm going to set 30 minutes. See you later. All right, everyone. Here's the verdict. Uh, let's see. There we go. Here's the cover. Mine! There we go, Lizzie. This is it. Here's the cobbler. I'm going to ask this girl. How's the cobbler? No, too good. Too good? Ah, she asked for ice cream in her cobbler. She has a scoop of ice cream there. Strawberry ice cream. She like the biscuit just like me. I like the biscuit. Huh? Hi. Yep, because she couldn't wait. Okay, everyone. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. It is free. Comment below the video and please like the video. And see you later. See you next time. Take care, everyone, and God bless.